between 34 to 35 million years ago, a terrifying 70-foot-long predator roams the oceans. Basilosaurus, a giant predatory whale that was one of the top predators at the time. Join me today as we take a dive into this magnificent predator's life and look at just what we know about this animal. Enjoy. Basilosaurus was misnamed after its initial discovery. Its name actually means King Lizard, because when it was first named, it was assumed that it was a reptile. Basilosaurus is a species of whale, belonging to the family Basilosauridae, which consists of three different subfamilies, which are made up of a total of 17 species, with Basilosaurus being the most famous. Basilosaurus represents one of the earliest whales, although it's actually descended from terrestrial mammals like Ambulocetus. Evidence for that can be seen in the flippers. The front flippers still have an elbow joint, something that today is only seen in seals. The back flippers, where its hind legs would have been in its ancestor, are greatly reduced, and although they may have been used to get extra grip on a mate, they would eventually disappear in later whales. The size of its flippers, in comparison with the massive bulk of its body, means that it was almost certainly an entirely pelagic animal. Basilosaurus varied from 56 to 66 foot in length, making it one of the largest animals of its time. They were roughly the length of a modern humpback whale. Basilosaurus whales were sleeker than many modern whales and looked almost like very, very large eels. Basilosaurus had teeth that they used to eat food, rather than the baleen whales which are common amongst the larger whale species in today's world. The large jaws of Basilosaurus housed teeth suitable for catching large prey, perhaps smaller whales, large fish, and even sharks. We know this because analysis of the stomach contents of Basilosaurus have shown that this species fed exclusively on fish and large sharks. Bite marks on the skull of a juvenile Derudon has been matched with the dentitions of Basilosaurus, suggesting a dietary difference between different populations. While they are quite large, these whales had small brains. Scientists believe that this shows that they were incapable of herd movement or even echolocation. Going on the basis that large-brained whales are typically more social, Basilosaurus itself may have been a solitary predator they did have a complex ear structure, although not all aspects were useful during their lives underwater. Study of the Basilosaurus skeleton has revealed that it was quite restricted in terms of movement. Muscle attachments along the spine imply that Basilosaurus had relatively weak muscles and could not dive deep or swim for extended periods of time. The vertebrae, unlike modern whales, which are solid, were hollow and likely filled with fluid. This is not an adaptation for a deep sea creature, as pressure imbalance between the fluid in the hollow vertebrae and stronger pressure of deep water outside could in theory cause spinal injury, with the vertebrae being crushed if the pressure became too much. Together, these all point towards an animal that only swam and hunted in waters near the surface. These sea whales likely lived in the prehistoric Tethys Ocean. As land masses shifted and moved, this area became the modern day Indian Ocean and Atlantic Ocean. The presence of Basilosaurus fossils in Egypt, Northern Africa, Jordan, Tunisia, Morocco, and Pakistan show that they were common to this area when it was underwater. The oldest evidence of Basilosaurus dates to around 33.9 million years ago. A large-scale event that heralded the end of the Eocene Epoch likely impacted Basilosaurus, like many other species that went extinct during that time period. This extinction event may have been something significant, like a meteor, based on evidence of impact zones. Other hypotheses point towards gradual cooling that changed the availability of food sources for all animals, which eventually led to the extinction of many species, including Basilosaurus. Thanks for watching today's video. 
If you enjoyed and wish to see more, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment below if you have any suggestions for a future video. See you in the next one.